I think it'll be very easy for us to use. I think that there's a lot of less stress definitely this year in comparison to prior years in math. So I'm looking forward to this step because I feel like this is a good pre-algebra step towards algebra, not overwhelming. Well, hey there. Hey, it's good to see you here at Shine Bright Homeschool. I'm excited to share with you today our eighth grade math. We decided to go with Denison Algebra's pre-algebra curriculum. If you haven't heard of Denison Algebra before, I will link them down below in the description. If you saw my previous video, I went through three different online maths to choose from. I really contemplated between Unlock Math, CTC Math, and Denison Algebra, and I decided to go with Denison Algebra for my eighth grade student. So we're going to take a dive inside these books today. I bought the set which comes with the student textbook. It also comes with the solutions manual book. Then it comes with some pages that were actually not in a binder in a spiral binder. So I just put them in my own binder here at home and it is the parent guide and test booklet. So Denison Algebra really is a great online resource. I felt like the videos were very good. Mr. Denison does a great job with keeping math very positive, very open, very encouraging. He is really good at making it not overwhelming to the student or to the parent. For the most part, it is pretty easy for a student to potentially do on their own depending on their math struggles, but he keeps it so basic normally that he can help students along without us as the teacher being like right there on top of them the entire time. Of course, this does depend on your homeschool student and how they are with math. Make sure that when you're looking online that you kind of see what his options are because he does not do anything below pre-algebra. So this is something that we kind of touched on pre-algebra in seventh grade with Matthew C. I'll link that video to that curriculum, which I have reviewed and gave you a look inside that book on that video. Matthew C just really didn't work for us. It wasn't enough. So even though we touched on some of the same pre-algebra concepts in Matthew C's Zeta curriculum, we did not end up going with Matthew C again this year. It just didn't seem to be a good fit for us. So we are really enjoying our first week of Denison Algebra so far. So I wanna give you a quick look inside to see if it's something that may work for you. So let's take a look. Okay, so the pre-algebra student textbook. Now, my son has already started the first few lessons, so I'm going to kind of skip those. But this is going to show you your chapter one, which is whole numbers, chapter two, integers, chapter three, decimals, chapter four, fractions, chapter five, strengthening the skills, Chapter six is variables, seven exponents, eight solving equations, nine is also solving equations, 10 is word problems, 11 is solving inequalities, 12 is graphing, 13 is ratio and proportions and percent, 14 is geometry, and 15 is probability and statistics. So these basically are cheat sheets that he gives you. So you can kind of glance at these, he does not believe that you should have all this memorized all the time. He knows that it's gonna take some people a little bit longer. He talks about this, but these are there basically to give the student an example. And it's basically for every chapter, there is one of these big hairy algebra concept sheets as he calls them. And again, he goes over all this stuff on the videos. This is just, again, for something for you to glance back at if you need a reminder. And he's big about having a positive mindset that it's okay that we need to be reminded often to work on it consistently multiple days of the week to copy the problems. That way you memorize the methods that are taught, um, not to cut corners, pause, do it if you need to take extra time to do it and take all the time you need. And then to check answers immediately to help you know what you did wrong and why you need to fix it. This is the math lesson here. First math lesson. This is basically what he talks about in the beginning of the first lesson. And each lesson has a, basically a page of him teaching, a page of work, another page of work, which is the assignment that you do without him. And then this is what you would check on your own. I'm gonna skip ahead to lesson eight. It kind of gives you an idea of the order of operations. fractions, mixed numbers, a 
This is in chapter six. As you can see, you started to use the letters to substitute for numbers. Working with exponents in chapter seven. More solving equations. Then we're getting into more word problems. Gives you plenty of space to work out problems below. Inequalities and then it brings in inequality word problems as well. Graphing. Ratios, proportions, and percent. Word problems, units. Geometry. Areas and circumferences. Last chapter is probability and statistics. And in the back is the final exam and practice tests. And the solutions manual is exactly the same thing. Basically the examples of what he works out on the video um, and how he does it. So as you can see, it does actually give you the work as your example. And as he's walking through these problems with you, it should be pretty self-explanatory. He does seem to be pretty open on his website, you know, if there's any issues to reach out to him. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what the solutions are like and if this would be enough for you. So the tests are actually in the next book. So again, this is the binder that I made for the parent guide and test booklet. It goes through different questions on your start guide. Talks about grading. You can keep your grades here and it shows you the points earned. That's where you can write down your answers for the tests right here and the total points for the chapters. This is like your pace guide, your schedule basically, how many days it should take you to get through certain parts. And then this is test one for chapter one, form A and form B, so there's two different ones. Chapter two, so it just goes on. Then here's the test solutions right here. It's pretty self-explanatory, so that's it. I think it'll be very easy for us to use. I think that there's a lot of less stress definitely this year in comparison to prior years in math. So I'm looking forward to this step because I feel like this is a good pre-algebra step towards algebra. It makes the next few steps of high school math not seem quite as daunting for me as the teacher and hopefully for my son as the student. Thanks for tuning in today. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you. I'll have more videos out soon. A couple different things I will be doing will be grammar, a eighth grade grammar that we're doing. It's from the well-trained mind, um, which is totally new to us for grammar this year. And then we're also doing write shop, also new for writing. And then finally, worldly wise for vocabulary. We've never used worldly wise either. So it'll be an adjustment this year, kind of revamping our schooling for the most part and trying different curriculums. I'm excited because I think that it's going to be really good. So I will be posting those videos soon. Make sure that you click that bell for notifications so you can see when I upload my next video. But until then, I will see you next time. If you've started school, make sure that you take a break, go outside, and shine bright.